All right, so attack canceling is one of the most advanced and unique techniques in Smash Ultimate, allowing you to adjust your momentum in otherwise impossible ways and execute difficult combos more consistently. So what really is attack canceling? As the name suggests, any normal grounded attack can be canceled with a jump during the first three frames of the attack animation. This works for jabs, tilts, smash attacks, and dash attacks. So what makes attack canceling useful is that when you perform an aerial out of this jump, your aerial momentum will always start off as though you jumped from a neutral position, whereas running forward and jumping will normally give you forward momentum even when holding backwards on the left stick after jumping. Because of this, you can run towards an opponent and use a dash attack, cancel neutral air, retreating in a way that is much safer than doing a retreating nair with the traditional input. In order to execute this, my friends, run towards the opponent and once you enter range for the nair to connect with its target, input a dash attack, then immediately input jump, making sure your left stick is returned to neutral position until at least one frame after you enter the air. Once you've left the ground for one frame, you can just begin to hold backwards on the left stick to begin retreating with the neutral air. As for control settings, this technique is generally easiest to perform by using C-Stick forward for the dash attack and setting a shoulder button to jump in order to allow two separate fingers to be used for the dash attack and jump respectively. Using C-Stick forward to dash attack is the most consistent and sometimes the only possible way to get a dash attack, such as in the early frames of your initial dash animation. The other most common and effective utilization for attack counseling is to do immediate turnaround aerials. This technique is similar to a RAR, or Reverse Aerial Rush, but allows you to consistently and efficiently perform the turnaround aerial during your initial dash frames where a true RAR is impossible. So for this technique, you'll need to set your C-Stick to Tilt Attack. To execute this, first dash forward, then at any point after this, input C-Stick back and jump on the same frame or within two frames after a while continue to hold back on the C-Stick. The arrow you perform with this technique is based on the direction the left stick is held on the first frame you enter the air. So for a turnaround back air, you hold forward because your character will be facing backwards by the time they enter the air. You can use this for multiple follow-ups in lots of situations. Some common examples are Roy and Chrome's jab to back air combo and Palatina and Captain Falcon's down throw to back air. Something worth noting about attack canceling in general is that the arrow you get will always reflect the direction your left stick is held in. This is because attack canceling is actually a result of Smash Ultimate's automatic short hop aerial buffer which provides a leniency window where the player can just press the attack input for their arrow slightly before jump in an attempt to press both at the same time and still get the buffer short hop aerial. This is also why attack council jumps always force an arrow and a short hop. We hope this guide helps shed some light on one of Ultimate's greatest and toughest techniques and we're so confident that you'll have it down in no time. For more help on Smash Ultimate, ladies and gentlemen, check out the rest of our guides on ProGuys.com, drop a subscribe here to our YouTube channel, and be sure to enable notifications so that you'll know when our newest techniques and videos launch. Hey, we've got videos coming out consistently on character guides, tier lists, and patches, meta analysis, and advanced tech guides. Like this video, guys, and you're on your way to learning how to attack cancel. And comment below which technique you would like for us to do next. Hey guys, this is your host, Keith Allen. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I love to hear from you guys. Stay tuned for more.